Hello guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Behja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then hey, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here before, like always, it is an honor and a pleasure to have you here with me. Your girl is just so excited for today's video. I'm in such a good mood. And so I feel, I hope y'all can feel my energy. Like I hope you guys can sense the feel good, good vibes, sun is shining energy because that is literally today. You guys know if you guys have been here for a while keeping up with any of the videos y'all know i'm never ever ever going to be as you and honestly that is why i'm bringing this video to you guys today i found that 80 percent of people's new year's resolutions go in the dumpster mid-February and I'm here to save y'all because I told you guys, I promised you guys I made y'all a promise that I was not gonna let you guys fail this year I was always one of those girls who would give up I would be tapped out by January 15th max I hadn't even last till February it might seem like your dreams are so big your goals are so big but the secret to achieving them is micro habits the secret to achieving them is little things that you do every single day that add up to that huge dream of yours that add up to being that girl you guys always ask me how i was able to become so productive how i stay motivated how i stay disciplined how i go to the gym almost every single day it's micro habits so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys 12 micro habits that have completely transformed my life that will completely transform yours that will allow you to level up and even help you do the things that you don't want to do because i know you don't want to go to the gym I know you don't want to read the book. I know you're too tired to do all these things, but micro habits is where it's at. Teeny tiny baby things that you do every day that won't even take a lot of your time, but will completely transform your life. So let's go. This first habit I'm going to be sharing with you guys is asking yourself every single morning, looking at yourself in the mirror and asking yourself, what do you need from me today? I learned this from Mel Robbins a few years ago. You know what you need to do to be the best version of yourself that you can be. And so when you look at yourself dead in the mirror, and I know it's so silly, it's so small, but when you look at yourself dead in the mirror, you will give yourself an answer. You will literally give yourself an answer, whether that's, I need you to rest more. I need you to not be so hard on me. I need you to actually follow through today. It's so easy for us to show up for other people. It's so easy for us to bend over backwards for the people that we love, but you want to treat yourself that same way. This will help you understand what you need from yourself. And it's so easy so simple literally takes like five seconds out of your day and it helps you build that connection with yourself that self-love it helps you get an understanding of what you need from yourself what you what direction you would like to go in and when you do that daily you can truly show up for yourself the way that you need to the next habit that i like to share with you guys is plan out your day the night before and i'm talking down to the outfit this is a perfect time to mention that this video is sponsored by Notion. You guys know I'm such a huge Notion girly. It is such an honor to be sponsored by Notion in today's video. I want to highlight two new incredible features that have changed the productivity game for me, and that is the Notion Q&A and the Notion calendar. Planning out my day has helped me so much with not becoming paralyzed with decision fatigue. I've struggled with this for so long. With everything going on in my life, building my brand, doing social media and then my own personal development journey, I would get really anxious throughout the day because I would have a million and one things on my mind that needed to be done that day and I just didn't know how to organize my mind. Because of that, I felt so paralyzed and it made me not wanna do anything because I was already frustrated and I was already overwhelmed. But planning my day and planning my week really helped me so much. I plan my next day every single night down to the T. Every single thing that needs to be done, my morning routine, my evening routine, I have my life system built out in Notion. I recently hired a virtual assistant and she truly turned me into a calendar girly with the way she's organized it and everything. My Notion is jam-packed. I have my personal glow up system on there. I have my team space on there with my virtual assistant where she goes in and she plans things and I go in and I plan things, but it's so cool because you can search and connect Notion docs directly into 
to events and everything lives in the same space. Here's my hub. I absolutely love this space. It has all of my rituals for achieving every single goal that I have set for myself. I have all my systems in one area and then I have my calendar and in this calendar I can do my to-do list. So this is where I plan out the night before exactly how my day is going to go and then all of that goes into my calendar without me having to get overwhelmed with seeing the entire week. And then there's Notion Q&A which has just changed the Notion game. It's like another personal assistant that's like always there to help you find anything in your Notion. And like I said, my Notion is so thick. There's so many moving parts. So there's so many different things. And sometimes when I'm working on doing my to-do list, I'm like, okay, well, I wonder what content Dua has planned for me. I can just type it into the Q&A and it provides instant answers using the information from your different workspaces. Q&A is included in all Notion AI subscriptions and you can get started for only $10 a month. If you're already a Notion AI user, then you can get started today because you already have Q&A in your workspace. And if you're interested in trying it out, then you can join the waitlist to get early access. I'm a huge Notion girly and I know a lot of you guys are as well crazy little moment right now planning my days has just made my life so much easier because it allows me to just focus on the tasks at hand instead of worrying about all the other things that need to get done because I've already planned it into my week it's made me a lot more happy a lot more productive it is those small things it's moving the needle little by little every day that will get you to those huge big goals that you've had set for yourself so once again thank you so much notion for sponsoring today's video and making it so much easier for us to achieve our goals the next habit that i have for you guys is one that will completely uh, completely transform and change your life it has changed and transformed so many people's lives including mine thanks to miss mel robbins again and that is the five second rule you don't want to go to the gym you don't want to get up you're sitting in the parking lot of the gym you don't want to go it's simply going five four three two one like i said you know exactly what you need to do to make the changes in your life you know exactly what you should do to get to where you want to be you know exactly what you need to do to level up to glow up everything but you don't do it and that is a lot of us and that is literally why people give up on their new year's resolution in february it's because you can't get yourself to do it you are so used to it and you are so wired to doing the same habits to clicking snooze when your alarm goes off to not going to the gym that making changes such as working out eating healthy getting up when the alarm rings posting the content the reason why it's so difficult is because our brains are literally resistant to change they want to keep us where we are they want to keep us from stepping outside of our comfort zones to being uncomfortable to doing the scary things and to doing the hard things but in order to live better you have to be willing to do those hard things you have to get yourself to do those hard things so what this does is when you have a decision in front of you right your alarm goes off i'm going to use that example because it's the one that mel robin uses but when your alarm goes off instead of hitting news you have about a five second window before your brain kicks in and is like talking you out of getting out of bed talking you out from going inside the gym and so what you do in that five seconds is five four three two one and get up five four three two one and get out the car five four three two one and get in the car whatever you're doing five four three two one i would struggle so hard with getting myself to do these things at first like now i'm so consistent with going to the gym because it is a habit of mine it is something that i've practiced for so many years but at the beginning it was so hard for me to get myself there or get out of bed and go or get out of the parking lot and go and i still struggle with that sometimes too i'm like i don't want to go i don't to do my workout like i'll be at the gym because it's a routine for me to get there and then i'll be like i don't really want i'm not really feeling like working out five four three two one that five four three two one literally interrupts that automatic loop that automatic action that you take so that you can have the space to make a different choice or to make a different decision one that will help you move towards your goals we're so stuck in these automatic habit loops that we are incapable of taking action you guys can definitely look into this more and she even has a book called the five second rule and yeah it is such an easy habit to incorporate and even with all these other micro habits that i will be sharing with you guys today 
when you are making these changes, you can use the five second rule to get yourself to do these new habits, to get yourself to do the work. The next habit that I have for you guys is creating an evidence portfolio and looking at it often. What an evidence portfolio is, is a place that you keep your wins. The small wins that you do every single day. You can do this in your daily journal or if you guys have my Notion template, the new version of the Becoming Her Notion template, it is built into the system. It is built into your daily routines and your daily habits. And there's a space for evidence portfolio. And basically what you do is you write down your wins every single day, no matter how small they are. And what this does is it becomes evidence to you that you are becoming the version of yourself that you want to be, that you are building the life that you want to have. It allows you to identify with this new this new version of yourself and this new lifestyle and it becomes easier for you to do the actions that are necessary in order for you to get there until you start to prove it to your brain it does not believe it and that's why affirmations don't work a lot of times of you saying i am confident i am grateful i am this you need proof you need evidence that you are that person and so by acknowledging your wins no matter how small they are you are going to start to feel like a winner. And because you feel like a winner, you are going to win more. We often only feel validated by the recognition and the awards that other people give us for our actions. But what truly defines our greatness and our resilience is the things that we do quietly, even if it's just getting through the day. Our true greatness lies in the struggles that we overcome, the little silent battles that we face. That's what makes us great. That's what allows us to grow. That is what's gonna help you build confidence is recognizing them as wins, recognizing for them for what they are, which is growth. The next habit that I would like to share with you guys is having a second brain or a place to kind of do your brain dumps. I feel like there's only so much that our brains can hold. And when you're thinking about so many things at once, it can cause, I can literally feel my brain move, working overtime. You know, when your computer kind of overheats, that's how my brain feels when I have so many different things on my mind. Having a place to kind of write it all down is really helpful because then I can use my brain for things that actually matter. Because I do a lot of creative work, I need as much brain power as I could get. And sometimes it's used on things that just constantly replay in the back of my head that drive me absolutely insane. And so having a space to do brain dumps. You can use a notebook, you can use your Notion, you can use your notes on your phone app, but anywhere where you can just write down things, or you can even use the reminders app on your phone. Literally, hey Siri, remind me to take out the trash later. And Instead of thinking about it all day because then it's just gonna take up space in your brain sometimes you just need to write out how you think what you're thinking about no matter how random it is I don't think I'll ever stop talking about how important and how powerful this is but it is setting your intentions the night before and the morning of before you go to bed set the intention of I'm going to embody the version of myself that lives the dream life that I hope to live that has achieved all the goals that I hope to achieve whatever that means for you, and then waking up in the morning and setting that intention again. This allows you to see opportunities. My sister was telling me the other day, she was like, Bajja, do you know that like your brain processes everything that's going on around you, everything that you see every single day, but the only things that stick out to you is the things that matter to you? And that's what I've been telling you guys. Your brain is a goal-striving computer. And so it is going to only notice the things that are important to you. When you set the intention that this is who I'm going to embody, your brain is going to seek out all the things that will help you achieve those goals, that will help you achieve that lifestyle. And the same thing happens for when you have negative thoughts. Maybe you're not conscious of it. Maybe this is all happening subconsciously. But if you have negative ideas about who you are and you're telling yourself the story of I'm a loser, you are going to, your brain is literally going to find all the ways that you are a loser that day and every day, as long as you continue to tell yourself that. It is so small and so easy to do, yet its impact is so great. The next micro habit that I have for you is to listen to a podcast or a video or something that 
motivates you, that empowers you every single morning. And so whether this is on your car ride to school, your walk to school, your bus ride to school, your ride to work, while you're walking on the treadmill, something to empower you. When you are going through change, right? When you are going on this journey to become a better version of yourself, to improve, it feels very scary. You feel a little bit alone. What has really helped me, especially in those earlier stages, was having podcasters that make me not feel crazy, that make me feel heard, that make me feel like the work that I'm putting in is going to be worth it. And for me, that was the On Purpose podcast and the Mindset Mentor. Those two were like the first two that really had, that really got me through it, especially in the early stages and so listen to something that will empower you creating kind of this community of people they might not know me but they truly were my mentors create this environment for yourself so that you can feel safe so that change that change that you're making feels normal and just by listening to that podcast in the morning it makes you feel more motivated it makes you feel it makes you feel more inspired and it makes you not want to give up on yourself find creators who empower you and listen to their words because it really brings you comfort and now that I'm like on the other side of it and I am a creator you guys like message me and you guys are like oh my goodness like you have no idea like I listen to you every single day because it empowers me and you make me feel a little bit safe it makes me so happy because I know how unsafe those moments felt and how the the on purpose podcast or the mindset mentor podcast really 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 held me down so I'm so happy to be one of those people for you guys it truly makes me really emotional um and i just i love y'all i really do and <laughs> that's how i feel the next micro habit that i have for you guys is leave your phone behind as often as you can here's a thing that my sister and i do all the time and we intentionally leave our phones in either a different room or when we go grocery shopping or something, leaving the phone in the car, just so that you can feel more present. Being on my phone all the time really depresses me. We spend so much time mindlessly scrolling and it is the worst habit that you could possibly have. The most important thing to you is your attention and your time, where you place your attention. And what social media does and what your phone does is it snatches away your attention when you don't really need it and you know you don't really need it just leave it behind and enjoy life and live the next micro habit that i have for you is a 10 minute cleanup every single evening whether you feel like it or not right whether you have it in you or not how no matter how tired you are and this is where you can use five four three two one and just go ahead and do it. Clean up your space. Tomorrow, me is gonna wake up to a clean house. She's gonna feel productive. She's gonna feel amazing. She's gonna feel motivated. She's gonna feel like that girl. And that's how I wanna feel. And even though I'm exhausted right now, I'm gonna take that time out of my evening to make tomorrow me feel just a little bit better, feel a little bit more productive, want to do the hard things, want to work up, wake up and conquer the day. The next little micro habit that I have for you guys is letter from future self or a little meeting with your future self and so think about yourself when you're 80 okay and this is something that Alex Hermosi does but this is something that I've been doing for such a long time it is writing a letter to the version of myself who has already achieved the goals who is already the best version of myself and it's crazy because you know exactly what to do it's almost as if all these things this timeline is all happening at the same time because that version of you it feels like she exists at this moment and she she can communicate with you but truly what this allows you to do is it allows you to zoom out and it gives you perspective when you're going through a tough time when you want to give up when you're experiencing a little bump in the road write a letter to your future self so say here's what i'm struggling with and then have your future self write back and this really gives you perspective is this going to matter is this situation really that deep could i work harder did i put in enough effort if you did good She's gonna say, I'm proud of you for the effort that you put in. You did the best you could. If you could have put in more effort, she's gonna tell you, you could have put in more effort. Did you really try the best that you could? Because the only person who knows how much you put in is you. You can lie to everyone around you, but you know the truth. And this kind of leads me to my next thing, which is when you have a problem, 
that you are coming across. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this huge problem. Let's just say you have this minor problem, but it's constantly replaying in your mind. It is making you feel negatively. And then it's also just taking up all the energy that you could be using on something else. It is consuming your attention that you could be placing on growth and becoming better and learning and growing. And so this is something that I've learned to do recently. And it's Oh, it is so amazing. Take a piece of paper and write down the problem. What happens when you take this problem out of your mind and you put it on paper is you can look at it for what it is. And instead of being controlled by my emotions and being so emotional about it, I can be rational about it. I can be logical about it and come up with ways to solve the problem. And if I can't come up with ways to solve the problem, I'm just gonna leave the paper there. I'm just gonna leave the problem on the paper. A lot of the times it becomes nothing. It's just a problem on a piece of paper. That is all that it becomes. The last habit that I have for you guys, last but not least, is have systems and routines. This can be an entire video, but you wanna have systems and routines that make the process easier. As simple as having a morning routine and having an evening routine. Your system can be keeping your journal or your iPad or something next to your bed so that you can do your gratitude journaling in the evening. Like just have systems, whether that's placement, the times that you wake up or the parking spot that you choose have systems that will make the process of doing the hard things easier. I've created a system for you guys, which is the Becoming Her Notion template. It literally walks you through your entire journey. It helps you set goals. It helps you break down those goals. It helps you and reminds you to do your journaling. It has a prayer journal. It has your evidence portfolio. It has every single thing that you need to succeed. And I'm so excited to share the 2.0 version with you guys. It if you guys had the first version, check your emails because you should have the 2.0 version. I'm so excited for you guys to use the system that has helped me. I really hope you guys love her and I hope you guys enjoy her. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys love this video. I hope this video has benefited you in any way. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you next time.